Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you've got a health challenge that you just can't figure out, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you're interested in the Longevity products or the Truth Skin Health products or you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, please call 844-236-6010. We love talking to you. And please try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We blog on the websites, and there's news stories and, and as well as the blog posts. And, of course, you can purchase Longevity products right off the website, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Uh, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com and brightsideben.com. You can purchase Truth Skin Health products if you head over to truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel. It'll last you about six months, maybe even more. You only use it once or twice a week. And if you're dealing with wrinkles or fine lines or acne, blemishes, hyperpigmentation, retinol is the go-to ingredient. But it does have to be in a high enough concentration. Thus, our 5% retinol, which is formulated to be equipotent, the same potency as retinoic acid 0.5% or 0.05%, I should say. There's a hundred times difference between the prescription strength and the -the over-the-counter strength, and that's why I've got a hundred times more of the vitamin A derivative in our retinol 5% gel. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we are talking PPD, the PPD hormones, pregnenolone, progesterone, and DHEA. They're all versions of cholesterol. They're both, uh, they're all calming, they're all building, they're all healing, they're all youth promoting, they're all stabilizing. As we get older, our levels drop. I don't know, I don't know what more we need to hear when it comes to how unbelievably valuable the PPD hormones are in terms of making them, in terms of synthesizing our own, and in terms of supplementation. When you think of the PPD hormones, you want to think of fat. That means fat metabolism, fat digestion, fat intake. Essential fatty acids are critical for making the PPD hormones. The EFAs, cholesterol, is critical for making the PPD hormones. If you're not getting your EFAs, your ultimate EFAs, you're probably not going to be making your PPD, youth-promoting, anti-aging, healing hormones, as effectively. If you're not absorbing your fats, if you've got intestinal problems, gallbladder issues, if you've, uh, a doctor's taking your gallbladder out, you'll be very, very wise to supplement with DHEA P, uh, or pregnenolone or progesterone. In my opinion, vitamin A is critical for the production of these hormones. Another fat, really stupendously valuable, stupendously important nutritional supplement, 
Vitamin A is only found in animal products for the most part. Beta carotene is not vitamin A. Don't let anybody tell you that. It is not vitamin A. I've heard medical professionals say it. I've heard people who other, I would otherwise respect in terms of their biochemical savvy say that beta carotene is vitamin A. It's not. It can be converted into vitamin A by some people. I won't even say most people. But why take a chance? Vitamin A is only found in animal products. However, so if you're a vegan, you're going to be stuck with the beta carotene. But if you're not a vegan, get on real vitamin A, especially if you're aging or dealing with the, the effects of aging or any kind of breakdown in the body. Vitamin A is a building vitamin, and it's also important for the production of these PPD, youth-promoting hormones. And if you're not processing fats, you're not going to be getting your vitamin A or your EFAs. And if you're on a statin drug, you'd be wise to throw in a little pregnenolone into your uh, daily nutritional supplement regimen, although pregnenolone isn't strictly a nutritional supplement. It's a hormone. Okay, so uh, we talked about pregnenolone. We talked about progesterone. I want to start talking about DHEA, which I absolutely positively love. I first started to uh, really understand, I f first really, we learned about it in pharmacy school, DHEA, but I didn't really get the impact, the full impact of it until the mid-90s. Some of you may remember when there was a, I think it was about 1994, 1995, somewhere in there, there was a movement afoot to have DHEA made over the counter, to have DHEA uh, uh, produced over the counter. I'm sorry, to have DHEA taken from, uh, from over the counter. It was, it was going to be a prescription. In fact, it was going to be a controlled substance. And then a big stink was made, and the net result was something called DSHEA, the Dietary Supplement Health Dietary Sup Supplement Health and Education Act, DSHEA, they call it. You may have heard of that term, DSHEA. DSHEA did a lot of things, but one of the main things it did is it allowed us to get DHEA over the counter. And once that happened, people started to really leverage this thing. They really started to, to explore the importance of DHEA as a supplement. And I did in my compounding pharmacy. I was making DHEA cream, and I was recommending DHEA and getting absolutely wonderful results. Now, at the time, I was in my mid-30s, so I didn't really think too much about supplementing with DHEA. But as I got older... As I got into my 40s, I started to use DHEA myself, and man, this stuff's amazing, especially for sexual things, sexual performance, for male sexual performance. If you're an older guy and you're now starting to experience uh, some of the effects of ED or performance issues, if you know what I'm talking about, DHEA can do some incredible things. Don't take too much of it. Don't get carried away with this stuff, 10 milligrams or so. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife steroid hormone. It's good for so many different things. It's made in the adrenal glands primarily with uh, pregnenolone and with progesterone. It is derived from progesterone. Progesterone can go two ways. Progesterone can go into, I'm sorry, pregnenolone can go two ways. I apologize. Let me take that back. Pregnenolone can go two ways. Pregnenolone can get produced, can get uh, converted into progesterone, and it can also get converted into DHEA. Now, pregnenolone itself has got wonderful benefits, but via its conversion into DHEA, via its conversion into DHEA, you can get an upregulation in a lot of your sex hormones. That, this is DHEA's main role. It does a lot, some other things too, but its main role is to upregulate sex hormones, testosterone particularly, but also estrogen because there's a relationship between the two. So DHEA is, you want to think of it as a... Uh, uh, a producer of the sex hormones. It helps you produce the sex hormones, uh, uh, particularly testosterone. That's why it's good for male issues. But it's also good for sugar control. In fact, it, next to its ability to upregulate the sex hormones, DHEA is known for its ability to help us handle blood sugar, help us convert blood sugar, uh, uh, convert blood sugar into energy. DHEA helps the cells get energy. Yesterday we talked about this whole idea of how cells get energized via oxygen, and this is this is how the steroid horm the PPD steroid hormones work. They help cells get oxygenated, so it makes sense that DHEA would improve energy production in a cell. DHEA does more than that, though. DHEA is great for weight loss. DHEA is great for brain health. It's very important for brain health. DHEA supports immune health. It's just an incredibly valuable uh, supplement. You don't want to take too much. Stick around with 10 milligrams a day. And there are still a few little problems associated with DHA. This is why the FDA wanted to regulate it back in the 1990s, because there's a few little things that you need to know about DHA before you start supplementing this stuff. It's not as benign as pregnenolone, which you don't have to really worry too much about. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. 
We are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're talking about today or the longevity products or health or nutrition or prescription drugs, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you'd like to take a look at our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. I've got a skin blog up there as well as information about our four true our four Truth Skin Health products, Truth Treat uh, Truth Omega Six Healing Cream, Truth Serum, Truth Retinol Gel, and our Truth Ball. Okay, we're talking DHEA, dihydroepiandosterone. First became, well, we've known about it for probably close to 100 years, but it really, really got going in terms of popularity in the mid-90s. I started using it in my compounding pharmacy, making creams with it in the mid-90s. And then I started supplementing it with myself a little bit, for myself a little bit later on. DHEA is one of those tricky ones. It's not as benign and gentle as pregnenolone. It, it gets converted into testosterone and estrogen relatively quickly. In fact, DHEA actually gets converted before it gets converted into, into the sex hormones. It gets converted into a really, really interesting substance called androstenedione. Some of you guys may remember this because Mark McGuire, the baseball player Mark McGuire, was famous for using and, androstenedione. And I don't know, for you guys who follow baseball, Mark McGuire set the the uh, major league baseball records record for home runs one year. One year, uh, it was an amazing year in baseball. Bobby bon, or uh, Barry Bonds and and uh, and Mark McGuire went crazy went crazy hitting home runs. And Sammy Soso, they went crazy hitting home runs. It's ridiculous amount. Nobody had hit more than fifty or sixty. These guys were hitting seventy. Uh, the, they just were shattering records, and then it came out that Mark McGuire was actually subs, that he was actually uh, uh, using androstenedione, and it would became a real big scandal. He was using androstenedione. They called it a steroid, which it is a steroid, but everybody had this idea that he was doing these terrible things with steroids, and all he was doing was a little andro. And actually, a lot of bodybuilders back in the day, a lot of weightlifters, and a lot of athletes were using andro. They, that's what they called it, andro, androstenedione. It came from DHEA. It was derived in the body. It was made from, in the body from DHEA. And some other folks were just taking DHEA to boost their own andro. Well, sure enough, the FDA got wind into this whole big scandal, and they made andro illegal. You now can no longer get andro. It was pretty darn amazing stuff, I will say. DHEA gets converted into these sex hormones, but it goes through andro goes through androstenedione. So DHEA gets turned into andro. Then it gets turned into testosterone and then estrogen. That's the, that's the order, of, uh, order of events. DHEA gets converted into andro, which is androstenedione. I'm just going to call it andro. And, uh, and then that can, gets converted into tes to testosterone. So if you could take the andro, you get a, it's a shortcut to getting to the male hormones. But these days you can't do it. Nonetheless, DHEA will help you make this male hormone. But because it's so close to male hormone, DHEA, the molecule, is pretty darn similar to male hormone. And it then, from that point, it gets converted into female hormone pretty quickly. You gotta be a little bit careful with DHEA. And there's actually some physicians and some naturopaths who will tell you not to use DHEA. And actually, it's a little bit tricky to get DHEA. Whole Foods doesn't carry it. A lot of health food stores won't carry it. You can't get it pretty readily on the Internet these days. Before the days of the Internet, uh, it, was, it was a little tricky to get DHEA. You can use DHEA in a couple different ways. You can use the capsules. You can also use DHEA cream. These steroid, uh, these PPD, youth and fertility steroid hormones go very well in creams. Pregnenolone, not as much, but progesterone and DHEA, they go very well in creams. So you can get topical DHEA, or you can just go on the internet and get yourself 10 or 50, 10 or 20 milligrams of DHEA. I wouldn't be taking too much of this stuff until you see how you react. One of the things that can happen is you can get oily skin and acne and break out. In fact, that's what, probably the main thing that happens if you take too much DHEA, at least, at least uh, if, in an obvious sense. You may have, you, who knows what's going on inside your body, but in terms of, your, in terms of what you can see, your skin t may break out. And for guys who are already uh, heading towards male pattern baldness, it may accelerate hair loss. So you want to be careful. For women, it may cause some hair, hair growth. So you want to be a little bit careful with the dose that you take of DHEA. There's another kind of DHEA that's, a, uh, that, that's not as, uh, it doesn't have the same male hormone effects. It's called 7-keto 
DHEA. And we're going to spend some time talking about 7-keto DHEA. But if you're interested, uh, before we get to uh, talking about it, if you're interested in checking it out, you want to go on DHEA, but you don't want to, you don't want to make too many male hormones. You want some of the other benefits of DHEA, like the weight loss benefits, or perhaps the blood sugar benefits, or the brain health benefits, or the bone building benefits, or there's all these, there's an incredible amount of benefits for this stuff. Most especially, as I say, involving blood sugar. So if you want to uh, enjoy the benefits of DHEA, but you don't want to get into any of the problems with, the, with excess male hormone activity, look for 7-keto DHEA. It's a little more expensive. It's, DHEA is pretty cheap, but 7-keto is a little pricier. So DHEA is part of the PPD youth hormones. And one of its main roles, and really is the main roles of the PPD hormones, is to balance out cortisol, to balance out stress hormones, which means these are wonderful, wonderful anti-stress stuff, substances. If you're dealing with the effects of cortisol, I'll, I'll tell you some of those here in a minute, or if you're on a steroid drug. If you're on a steroid drug, you really want to think about using either pregnenolone or getting on some progesterone cream or maybe even using DHEA. So-called steroid drugs, the iconic one is prednisone, are really versions of cortisol. They're versions of stress hormone. You might say, well, why, am, why is my doctor giving me stress hormone? Why is he giving me stress hormone for my, my disease? Isn't my disease causing enough stress? Now I need stress hormone? Well, it turns out stress hormone is anti-inflammatory. One of the body's ways of, uh, of dealing with stress when it thinks there's some major stressor going on is it'll quiet down the inflammatory system. It kind of balances the inflammatory system. So doctors love using prednisone and, uh, as an anti-inflammatory. If you're on prednisone, you really want to think long and hard about getting on either DHEA, telling your doctor at least to, uh, that you're doing DHEA or prednisone or, or, or pregnenolone or progesterone. Balances out cortisol. Now, what's the deal with cortisol, stress hormone? Well, stress hormone is what is responsible for the, all the untoward effects of stress. And when I say untoward effects of stress, I'm talking long term stress, chronic stress, low level stress, drip, drip, drip stress, not boom, explosion stress, like when a, when a, a lion is at your door. That's the kind of stresses that the body can handle big time stresses because then once the stress is resolved, we're either dead or we're bigger and stronger and better. The problem is with, is with the low level stress, stress that occurs daily over and over and over and over again. That's really where we run, run into problems. Now, what's the deal with cortisol? Well, one of the major things cortisol will do is it'll cause your body, your blood sugar to go up. And that means it'll make you fat. In fact, to me, those are prob that's probably the two most important, well, at least the, the blood sugar issues, the most important thing that cortisol does, stress hormone does. It'll raise your blood sugar. It's a big problem, of course, if you're dealing with blood sugar problems already, and who isn't after the age of 35 or 40. And the second thing it'll do, it'll do is it'll make you gain weight. Probably the worst thing that cortisol does is it breaks your body down long-term cortisol. It dissolves the body. It blocks building, it blocks repair, it blocks regeneration, it blocks healing, and it's majorly, majorly pro-aging. It may be the ultimate, ultimate marker of pro-aging in the body, along with sugar. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. On the right side, Pharmacist Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products off the websites as well as criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you're in the Toronto area, I'm going to be doing a bunch of talks next week in Toronto, and uh, a couple of them are going to be for my friend Mike in Toronto. And Mike is on the line to tell us about him. What's up, Mike? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Ben. How are you? Good morning. So talk to uh, talk to the audience and about some of the dates, about the dates yes. that I'll be out there. Yes. Well, we're really excited to have Ben back. He was there a couple months ago and really knocked it out of the park. So on Monday, June the 6th, Ben's going to be at the Willowdale Presbyterian Church at 38 Ellerslie Avenue in North York. It's just a five-minute walk from the North York subway station if you're coming on the subway. And if you're driving, there's plenty of parking at the church. 
The doors open at 6.30 and we're going to start at 7. And we're just asking a minimum donation of a toonie just to help cover the cost of the hall. And on Tuesday afternoon, the doors open at 2 o'clock at Dell Manor, Northtown, uh, which is a senior community at 5351 Young Street. That one is a free event. And uh, the doors open at 2. Ben will be starting at 2.30. And afterwards, there's some light refreshments. And we're looking forward to having you. If you uh, want any further information, give me a call. My name's Mike at 647-678-7575. Good Thanks deal, Mike. Ben. Look hey, Mike, before... You next week. I'm looking forward to seeing you as well. Hey, would you mind shooting me a quick email or a text with that information? So I'll give it out before before the end of the program. Sure. I texted it to you last night. But okay, I'll yes, I remember. That's right. You did. Okay, good deal. Thank you so much, Mike. Okay. Have a good day, buddy. Thank you. you Thank you. Good, to, good to talk to you. To see you next week. Take care, Same. Buddy. Same. All right. I love Toronto, by the way. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you in just a sec. Uh, from... Uh, this is uh, from the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. Adrenal sex hormone level may predict heart disease risk. Of course, they're talking about DHEA, blood levels of the adrenal sex hormone, as they call it, DHEA, may predict an increased risk for coronary heart disease in elderly men. Yes, they will test your DHEA when they do an adrenal, adrenal workup. They'll, that's one of the major hormones that they'll test for in addition to cortisol. And we all know, everybody who's uh, in the biochemistry biz knows that as we get older, not only does our, does our uh, risk for heart disease increase, but also our, abil our ability to produce this incredibly important hormone, DHEA, the anti-stress youth-promoting hormone. You do have to be a little bit careful with it. Don't take it willy-nilly. You want to keep your dose as low as, as possible because you don't want to be, it's not a good idea to be messing around with your hormones. That's why I don't like hormone replacement therapy. And that's why I like pregnenolone and progesterone so well, just because they're so, 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 so gentle. They're ways that you can stimulate your own production of the good stuff. Instead of just sticking hormones right into your blood or under your tongue or taking them orally uh, in a prescription drug, DHEA, pregnenolone, and progesterone, they tend to be much milder than hormone replacement therapy hormones. They get converted into the hormone replacement therapy hormones like estrogen and testosterone. It makes them a little bit better, a little bit easier, a little bit easier on the system. 844-236-6010 is our number. Truth Raider, what's going on, man? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. Well, good morning, Ben. You know, you're talking about the topic today on DHEA. I think I'll touch a little bit about, uh, Are you about using that, my it? experience with it. Are you using it? I'm not using it today. 11, 12 years ago, I used it. Yeah. And I felt nervous. I had a sense of feeling that I had to go to the bathroom all the time. Okay, you're not a fan. <laughs> and I, my, I, my rear end is covered in pimples. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> pimple thing. Over. The pimple thing's a big, the big thing. I bet you were taking too much, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I just took a, a capsule or, or a, a pill. I think I, I took it in the pill form, so I don't well, think it, it was quite It doesn't go by the capsule or pill. It doesn't go by the capsule or pill. It goes by the, the milligrams. Right. So if, you, if you're taking too much in terms of milligrams, yes, that can definitely be a problem. The zits, the breaking right. out, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, so it might have been too soon for me to take it at that time. I was in, only in my 40s. It might have been a little too soon. Okay. So it might have been an overdosing of this. Uh, that's, that does tend to happen. That is the problem. That's what I notice is that people would, you know, a little bit of, if a little bit of, is good, then a lot is better. But that doesn't work with DHEA. No. Okay, well, this is my uh, question for the day. I don't know what you think about this. I kind of like it. I've tried it several times, and it's down in your supermarket in the, the salad section or fruit section. Mm -hmm. On the top shelf, they have this product called Mama Chia. Mama Chia? Mama Chia. Is it's, it chia seed? It's chia seeds in, in, in a bottle. It's kind of squirmy, kind of. It's, it's kind of an interesting type of a thing, but it's that, uh, you're sure to get your daily fiber intake with it. But it does. I, I tried it several times. It's, it's in a bevy of, of uh, flavors. You can get it in uh, what is it exactly? grape. You can get it in raspberry. What mango. is it exactly? <laughs> hey, Carl, what is it exactly? Well, it's a drink of, with a chia seed inside of it. It, it. It's a type of a fruit drink or a okay. nectar drink, like a nectar from a particular fruit. Is it thick? It's it's mildly thick. The seeds create that effect. It makes yeah. it kind of thick, and it's uh, in its texture. But 
boom, it's got lots of potassium, lots of protein in it, magnesium in it, a yeah. little bit of sodium, a little bit of protein, not very much, but a little bit of that, and some, of course, you know, unfortunately, it's got some sugars in it, but it gives me a really good steady kick within a half an hour, an hour later, after you're kind of groggy, yeah. kind of dragging, not, not feeling very well or something. Or, you know, you're experiencing the uh, the problem that we're having, with the, the phenomenon of the constant chemtrail spraying is really gets to some people, makes people tired and kind of lethargic, puts them in a fog. I go sure to the not sp- store. But Carl, you sure they're not spiking the stuff with something? I'm like, not there- sure. I, I, I have a few bottles left be, uh, you I'd know, love to I know what they're doing with it. Bin, but I look at all the ingredients on there. There's no excitotoxins to speak of that I think of that are in uh, the contents of the drink. But okay. it gives you a nice, smooth, warm pickup. Is it, fill- is it like satisfying and filling? So, you know, like a meal, like you can use it instead of a snack or a meal? <laughs> uh, semi. I, I, it gives you satisfaction where you're not going to be craving food, but you don't get full. But you, you just feel better. Chia you seeds are mm-hmm. feeling a lot more energetic. Chia and seeds are one of my all time all time favorite foods. You know, you can make your own beverages, by the way, with chia seeds. If you just put them in uh, like a coconut milk or or almond milk, it'll make a nice pudding. Add a little bit of water to kind of thin it out if you if it's too thick for you and you want to drink it more. But if you if you want a nice pudding, coconut milk uh, and chia seeds, and if you really want to be indulgent, you can put a little coconut cream in there, and it is super delicious. And I find it super super filling and super satisfying. Although I have to say, I haven't heard. Of um, I haven't heard of that uh, energizing kind of benefit, but it makes sense, uh, especially if you're using coconut. Uh, you get the MCTs from the coconut cream. Yeah, uh, also, I right. should it, it picks me right up. Gives you can put nice a little fruit in there too. You know, yeah, omega threes are really very fascinating substances. I was reading about the anti-inflammatory properties of omega threes uh, this morning. Omega threes get converted into really, really powerful anti-inflammatory substances. And if you're dealing with arthritis or you're dealing with any kind of inflammatory health condition, you may want to make sure you're using your ultimate EFAs or maybe getting some chia seeds, hemp seeds, uh, anything you do to get some omega threes. Not so much the fish omega threes. I'll tell you about that when we come back from our break. Hey, Carl, I gotta go. Thank you so much for your call. Have a great day, man. Thanks, we'll talk to you again. Okay, buddy. Bye bye. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. We're talking about the PPD hormones, specifically DHEA. If you're dealing with insomnia issues, one of the benefits of the PPD hormones, particularly pregnenolone and progesterone, is they can help you, they, because they have balance out stress hormone, cortisol, they can help you fall asleep a little bit. I, I don't know if I'd use, you, I would use the DHEA for that. Uh, DHEA is so close to testosterone, it may actually hype you up more than help you fall asleep. But uh, certainly pregnenolone and maybe even progesterone can help balance out cortisol, help you fall asleep, and also keep you asleep. Sometimes we get up in the middle of the night because of elevated cortisol, high nighttime cortisol, as they say. And using pregnenolone and progesterone uh, before you go to bed can not only help you fall asleep, but help you stay asleep as well. Okay, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you, Conrad in Vegas. What's going on? Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, I've been uh, experienced. I've been on the uh, Longevity products, pretty much full line of them, for about three months. And then the last couple of weeks, uh, I just started experiencing some asthma and okay. some, uh, some severe uh, allergies. Okay, now hang on a second. Just there's four thousand products that they have, so you're not on the whole line there. So you got to no, tell me specifically. Uh, you got to tell me specifically. Health and body pack. Okay. Start with. Then I'm doing the ultimate glucogel. Okay. I'm doing uh, five enzymes before each meal. Okay. Um, and plus the sweeties. Uh, okay. I'm doing selenium uh, two oh. at each meal. Okay. Uh, I'm doing the four FX at night. Doing okay. the uh, Beyond Osteo at night. I'm okay. doing the Beyond Tangy Tangerine uh, tablets. I'm taking uh, two of those a day. Okay. Try to get my ORX score up over 100,000. And then I'm mm-hmm. also doing the Ultimate EFA or the Ultimate Daily Classics. Uh, I'm doing three of those a day. 
and then I'm doing the EFA Plus and the EFA, Ultimate EFAs. I'm doing 12 of okay. those. Okay, you got a bunch of stuff going on there. You know, you reminded me, just let me digress here for a second. I was going to tell folks before we went to break, I said how fish oil is not the most, is not the best choice for an anti-inflammatory omega-3. Flaxseed and chia seeds are. Fish oil is more for brain health, uh, health of the nervous system, and the health of the eyes. Uh, but the omega-3s from flax and chia, uh, and also, well, flax and chia primarily, are going to give you more anti-inflammatory benefits, anti-inflammatory effects. And I didn't mean to, to interrupt you there, Conrad, but I forgot to mention that. So as far as the longevity products go, you're, you are on a whole bunch of them, um, that's, and that's very good. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I would take all those. Everything you said is important. But what, I did not quite understand your question. You're saying you got allergies a couple of weeks after you started the products? Or? No, no, I, bit all, I was feeling great. Great, man. I started taking these. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. First couple of months, I was just doing phenomenal. Okay. And I, about two and a half months into it, and one He's... of the things that I added around that time was the was the Ultimate David Classic tablet. Uh, okay. And and then and about probably a month before that, I added the Tang Tangerine tablets. And that's and that's then, when you got the uh, asthma. And, that's when you got the asthma, you're saying? Well, I've had asthma all my whole life, but it was doing really well. And on those times, okay. my allergies just, I mean, okay. everything was in bloom here in Vegas because we got a lot of rain last month. But, uh, you know, I would I've tell never... you, I would say, you, well, hang on, let me, let, me, let me address your question, okay? Uh, I would say that you, you, something's activating your immune system, and it doesn't, it, it, anything's possible, but it doesn't sound like, if I was to guess, I would say it's not the products. It could be pollen, it could be something in the air, as you said, if it's raining a lot there, uh, different kinds of plants w would grow, or, and they would grow uh, in, faster than they would otherwise kind of thing. So you may, there may be a stress on your immune system that all of a sudden, all of a sudden kicked in somewhere along the line of a couple months ago or a couple months after you started the products. I don't think it would be the products, although, as I say, you never know. What I would uh, do is a couple things. First of all, most important thing is you always got to work on digestive health. There's a very important, and I know you know this, I'm just, I, we, I say this every day pretty much, there's a very important connection between the health of the, health of the digestive system and the immune system. When the, when the immune system is overwhelmed from anything that's getting in through the gut, you're going to be more prone towards allergic reactions. Now, I love the Flora FX, but it's nowhere near, nowhere near as good as the nightly essence. And taking care of probiotics and what is called the microbiome, the universe of bacteria that live in our gut is just Job number one if you're dealing with an immune problem. And that includes autoimmune disease, and that includes allergies, and that includes asthma and eczema, which are similar, uh, uh, of similar causes. Anything that has to do with the immune system, you want to make sure that you're focusing first on the gut. And when you're focusing first on the gut, you want to make sure you're using probiotics. The, the two key elements to dealing with digestive health are probiotics, good bacteria, and elimination, food elimination, eliminating problem foods. Now, certainly there's other things. I'm not saying those are the only things you need to do. You need to make sure you got enzymes and apple cider vinegar, and uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to use bile salts and lecithin. But the two key elements of uh, uh, working on the digestive system, if you're dealing with any kind of immune or inflammatory problem, are number one, fermented food and probiotics, restoring the health of the microbiome, and then number two, making sure you're eliminating problem foods. So, Conrad, get yourself, have you done the food diary thing where you eliminate problems, look to, you know, the kinds of foods that cause problems and then eliminate those? I have not yes. done the diary. I, do I it. eliminated all the bad foods on the 12 Well, you didn't, list. what do you mean by bad foods? The 10 good, bad, 10 bad foods, good food, bad yeah. food list? No, yeah. I, I'm not a fan of the good food, bad food thing. You know, everybody's got their own bad foods. So, you know, you can't go by some list. You've you got to do it yourself. I don't, I don't like lists. Lists are if you just have zero understanding of how your body works. But for you guys listening to this program, you're savvy. You wouldn't be listening to this program if you didn't have a certain amount of biochemical savvy. So you be the list. You decide. What's, you determine what is a good food for you and what's a bad food for you. And the only way to do that is to, is to do a food diary where you write everything down and then see how you feel. You may be eating the wrong kinds of food. You know, that may be putting a burden on the immune system. You, and, and chances are pretty good if you have asthma, a history of asthma, that that is occurring. So food diary. I would use the, the uh, nightly essence instead of the Floor FX. And then there's a couple other things that you could do for it improving the uh, environment, making a better environment for the gut bacteria. Most importantly, probably is fiber. 
Now, there's a couple ways to get fiber, high doses of fiber. Uh, you can make your own with, with um, a, a coffee grinder and flax seeds or chia seeds or any kind of nuts, really. But I like flax seeds. With flax seeds, you get a bunch of protein and a bunch of good fat, anti-inflammatory fat. So I'm a fan of the flax seeds and the chia seeds. Grind them up, put them in water. I like a little coconut milk or a little almond milk. Stir it up, and you got yourself a nice little smoothie slash pudding slash uh, fiber beverage. Well, however you want to phrase it. And then the second thing is vegetable juices. Vegetable juices do two things, two very important things for the digestive system. They do zillions of things for health, but two very important things for the digestive tract. Number one, vegetable juices give you fiber if you do it correctly. You don't want a juicer. If you use a juicer, you lose the fiber. That's not good. You want a Vitamix or a Nutribullet or some high power blender that allows you to keep the fiber. And so vegetables will get you fiber, and then vegetables will get you nitrates and nitrites. I know most people think that nitrates and nitrites are bad, but they're not. Nitrates and nitrites are very important when they're part of the vegetable. Not the nitrates and nitrites that are used as preservatives, like for preserved meat. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about vegetable, natural vegetable nitrates and nitrites, very important for digestive health. So making veggie juices is another really cool strategy. Of course, you get all the good stuff from the veggies too, and that can, uh, and you'll get them in an easy to absorb form, and that can also upregulate or improve health in general. And then a couple other things: you want to go to the health food store and get 50, five zero milligrams of zinc. That does a couple things for you. Number one, well, it does a lot of things actually. But number one, as far as digestive health goes, is it improves the body's ability to make hydrochloric acid. Without zinc, you can't make hydrochloric acid or stomach acid. And most people are zinc deficient unless they're supplementing. Most people are zinc deficient if they're not supplementing. So get on 50 milligrams a day of zinc, and that'll help up, uh, stimulate your uh, your hydrochloric acid production, and that could help. Uh, give you some benefits with uh, food allergies or food intolerances, intolerances or immune system problems. It can help you absorb your nutrients. And then the second thing that zinc does is it's, it's like uh, uh, a, uh, a rocket fuel for your immune system. It runs your immune system. I don't want to say it runs your immune system, but it's extremely important for the immune system. And that's true if you're dealing with colds or you're dealing with inflammatory issues or you're dealing with acne or, of course, if you're dealing with, uh, with asthma or some kind of immune, uh, immune overload condition. So I'd be getting on zinc 50 milligrams a day. You might also want to try, or you, you said you're on selenium. You might also want to try upping your selenium to maybe four or, 500, uh, four or 500 micrograms a day. That's five of the ultimate selenium, four or five capsules of the ultimate selenium. Does that help you, Conrad? Anything else yes, you want to ask? Okay, good deal. So I'd much. love to hear, what's that? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much, Connor. Good to talk to you, man. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for listening. I'd love you to check out my Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth 5% Retinol Gel. If you're dealing with blemishes or acne or hyperpigmentation or uh, you just want a, a powerful anti-aging product, Retinol 5% Gel is made with our Retinol 5% Gel. Truth Retinol 5% Gel is made with lots of vitamin C. No preservatives, no fragrances, no fillers, no waxes, no oils, no water, no nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. All right. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.